Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Abhinav, and you're watching Monster Fish Tank. So, this video is about the iridescent shark. Now, iridescent shark is one of the most common fishes in the fish hobby. So, let's start this video by knowing some very basic information about this fish. All right, now iridescent sharks are basically catfish. They are not sharks. They are called sharks because they look like sharks, but they're actually catfish. And they belong to a species called shark catfish. They originate from Mekong River. They are omnivores and they're very peaceful fish. They're very active swimmers. And uh, the reason why people love them is because uh, they swim a lot. They, they are very active and they're very peaceful. They don't harm any fishes. So that's one reason why people uh, you know get them get them to their tanks all right right now in the video what you're seeing is an albino iridescent shark he's around a foot long and he's two years old uh, these fishes are very active swimmers now coming to the most important thing and that important thing is the tank requirement for this fish as i've told earlier this these fish they get really big so when you buy them they might they might be very small you know maybe a couple of inches big uh, so when they're small uh, uh, you know a, a two feet tank would be fine for them but uh, they grow really fast so if you have plans to keep them for all their life then you would need minimum minimum of four to five feet minimum of four to five feet long tank uh, anything more will be uh, will be really good actually so make sure uh, you give them a lot of swimming space because these fishes they love swimming and if you if you don't provide them with enough swimming space uh, you, you may end up you know killing the fish actually it's a fish abuse if you put them in small tanks so uh, before buying this fish always make sure that you uh, buy a huge tank for them now coming to the food these fishes are not at all picky eaters they will eat anything you put in a tank uh, they are basically omnivores so they'll eat both uh, plant matter and you know and and, and non veg food so uh, uh, based on my experience these fishes they love shrimps you know the freeze dried shrimps they love tubiflex worms uh, you can even feed them chicken you can feed them small fishes uh, they even uh, accept uh, boiled peas so if you want to give them some veg food you can give them boiled peas uh, and they like even pellets so uh, always uh, give them a balanced diet. Don't stick to one food. Just try to give them, you know, different kinds of food. So that would be really helpful for them in terms of growth. All right, now coming to the tank mates. These fishes, uh, they go well with any fish which is smaller than them. Oh, no, no, don't do this mistake. These fishes go well with fishes that are larger than them or of equal size. Any fish which is uh, smaller than iridescent shark, they are likely to be eaten by these fishes. Because these are catfishes and any small fish that can fit into its mouth will likely end up being a meal. So avoid getting small fishes for this fish. Now coming to water temperature. Uh, these fishes, they, they appreciate water temperatures from 26 to 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, yeah, don't, don't go beyond 28. Just uh, make sure you maintain a water temperature till 28, 26 to 28. Don't go beyond 28. All right, so before we end, let me tell you one very unique feature about this fish. This fish is known for something called crazy panic attack. If you, have, if you had an irritation shark, you might be knowing that sometimes these fish, they literally freak out and this they swim so fast, so hard, ramming everything that comes on their way. This is called crazy panic attack. Now this happens uh, when your fish is stressed. Iridescent sharks, they have very poor eyesight. So any sudden movements around the tank is seen as a potential threat. And as a response, these fishes, uh, they literally flee away from the spot. So this is actually a very dangerous behavior of this fish. So when this fish does this crazy panic attack, any fish that comes on the way, it'll probably be the last day of that fish. I have lost few of my angel fishes because of the because of my shark. So make sure uh, you don't stress them out. Don't move suddenly near the tank, else 
if a shark starts panicking anything might happen i have i have lost two of my fish tanks because of the shark my shark broke two tanks it killed two angel fishes so always make sure you don't you don't stress them out they like peace they like to swim peacefully don't stress them out give them lot of space of swimming and they'll probably be the best fish you can you can have in your life so if you uh, found this video informative make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon thanks a lot